In this video, we are going to be playing as the universe boss himself, Christopher Henry Gale. We are going up against India. Let's see if we can replicate Gale stop here. First ball, loose delivery, but I was just looking to take a single there and I'll do just that. This Indian jersey actually just looks amazing. This color especially is just great. Driven through extra cover. Will that run away for four? Of course, this is a very, very powerful man. And if he finds the gap, it's most likely going away for four. We have a target of 199. So, a chance to score a lot of runs. Oh, God. And we'll come back for two there. Mayers on the other end. Gale and Mayers both can smack the ball. Oh, well. I guess not today, Hardik Pandya knocks the middle stump out, good length delivery, nipping back in, I try to play an inside out drive, but we still end up winning, god is this stadium just beautiful. This time Bhuvneshwar Kumar is starting with a, lo with a lovely out swinger as well, I mean in swinger. That's been hit, of course we are playing as Gale, we are going to play shots like that and thankfully this time it comes off and goes away for 6. Pulls it away from the body and once again I do find the gap, a relatively small ground and that will go away for 4. A small ground and a powerful man means we are going to score a lot of boundaries. Now they've gone with a very... Very 2023 feel, one man deep on the leg side, one man deep on the off side. So he can bowl wherever he wants and he'll most likely concede a single. 11 of 5, we are off to a flyer here, but this time we just have to bat 20 overs. That's been nicely chipped in the air as well. And we'll get through for a quick run. A somewhat quick run. 3 overs, 22, Mays is struggling just a little bit, but we are compensating more than enough. A back foot punch once again in the gap. I have just been finding gaps. Another boundary. Finding gaps and finding boundaries with ease. Every shot I have played so far in this innings and even in the last match have gone in between fielders and have gone away for 4. Hopefully I don't get a ball like last time where I get my middle stub knocked over. Oh wow, <laughs> why is everyone diving unnecessary all the time? 4 overs, 33, we need to score a little bit more in these next 2 overs. Full toss, but he's very slow, so every ball seems like a slower delivery. Here comes Boom Boom himself for the final over of the power play, probably the most important over in the power play because batsmen are usually trying to smack Whoever is bowling, no matter who's bowling, 6th over is usually reserved for trying to get as many runs as possible. And so India bring on their best T20 bowler. Come on, I took a single in the first ball. That's it, I guess. I only managed to face 10 deliveries in the power play. That is fine. We still have 14 overs to go. That's been flaked. Oh my god, I did not want to hit it there. I want to hit it over a fine leg. It goes square and I end up giving a simple catch to deep square leg. He did not have to move an inch. And this time India wins. So one each. And we move on to T20 number 3. Yet another beautiful ground. Short pulled. And we'll get off the mark straight away. Full length de delivery there, but this time I did manage to time it even though the ball is very slow and once again runs away for 4. I've scored a lot of boundaries considering I've not faced all that many deliveries, got out cheaply in both matches. Which means if I stay for 20 overs, I probably could score more than 100. Flicked, not in the gap, just another meter away and it would have been 4. Oh, he's quick. I was just late on that, tried to smack him straight through the line. My first real aggressive shot in this match, but it doesn't come off, at least I don't get LBW. Our first taste of spin, let's see how this goes, slow left armor against Chris Gale that usually does not work well for the bowler. Look at that, An another unnecessary dive in the opposite direction and we'll get another boundary here without any real risk. Oops, flaked and <laughs> that is a run. Chris Gale in real life would have never ever made. Five overs gone and I've faced a grand total of six deliveries.
once again i get no balls to play in the power players once again, i take a single so this is probably the well i get one final ball in the power play and let's try to go after him here where's he gonna go i'm gonna try going over mid wicket wow that is quick and some swing as well short and wide card square hmm extra cover was very quick there he covered a lot of ground and we'll get only two i mean mess just does not give me any strike this is like the third match in a row where he has given me absolutely no strike so i think i have to start playing with that in mind try to take singles of the last ball and not take singles in the middle of the over like this Again, Dusra and it goes away. 6.561 for no loss. Our opening partnership has been great throughout the series. And once again, 62 runs in very quick time as well. But this time we need to carry on. No getting out cheaply. And boom Boom comes in from over the wicket. This time he's coming in the 8th over. And we are batting first here as well. Shot on the hips. Wow, that has gone straight up. Wait, was that off the bat? I have no idea, it was just way too quick. Again, this time I was up for the quick delivery. Flicked over, fine leg and a six. Use all the pace, that was not a very good ball, especially with no deep fine leg. We'll get six relatively easy runs there. He's bowling at that same line. He's wearing his length, sometimes it is a little troubling but if he keeps bowling there i think he will be very expensive at least now i managed to face some deliveries in a row 14 balls 21 and another wide oh very late play that almost out of the wicket keeper's gloves a very very late cut but we find the gap time it absolutely perfectly and we'll get forward for it I mean, these are the middle overs. I should probably try to take a few singles. But the problem is, whenever I do try to take singles, I just don't get strike back at all for another over. So I think I'd just uh, try to be a little bit more aggressive, try to score twos and fours, score in even numbers. I'll fail that only one. See, for this over, I'll just not get strike anymore. That's it, I think. Look at this, 8.3. And now we get strike back in the next over. And Bumra first over 14 runs, but this time he's coming from around the wicket. He has a much better feel. Now he is bowling at a much better line as well. Can I come back? Probably not. Oh, that's been punched beautifully. And the mid-off fielder is just not bothered at all. He does not want to run behind the ball. Oh, stop it. Short and wide. That was... Tennis ball like bounce there, clearly bounced over my head and wide signaled as well. And driven too long mid off and we'll get through for another quick run. 10 overs gone, 104 for no loss, as good a start as anyone can ask for. It's been hit, have I got enough of it? Absolutely not, nope. And I tried to accelerate, we still had 10 wickets, only 10 overs left. And it does not come off. Gone for another start. And we win by one run. Wow. So now the series is at 2-1. And we are back once again. Batting first again. This time a much better pitch. And that's what happens. Hit through the line. Long over long on for 6. Not a lot of pace there. No swing either. Just swing through the line. And you'll get runs for them. Again, flicked. Mm, that will be only one still. I need to try to face as many balls as I can during the power play here. Because this is when you can score. Open the face, have fun the gap. Nope, hit straight to him. Absolutely pinpoint straight. And we'll go through for a single. We are playing on a good wicket instead of grassy swinging wickets. Flared, but he almost beat me there with pace because of how full he's bowling. Shot. Perfect ball there to go for a uppercut. But I don't know if it will come off though. Good line, good length. He's bowling very well and will make it. But just make it as well. If the fielder was even slightly quicker, I'd have been gone. 
much around the hips. That is just a poor delivery, but I somehow find a way to get out on that. I did not see a deep fine leg. I thought I was a gap there. Absolutely awful ball. Awful short selection. And this time India wins. So now we are two each heading into the last game of this series. We have a target of 171. You should probably make it. Open the face. Wow, that's some awesome timing there. That ball raced to the boundary. Opening pair, our very successful opening pair has already been broken. One for nine. Wow, was that a slow delivery. I think he went for a cutter there. Yet another quick run that Chris Gale in real life would have never made. Driven straight. Perfectly played. Oh, wow. Timing was late there. How did I... Managed to play that late. He's bowling at 134. That fielder is running circles around the ball, letting me run three runs. Now they have two fielders at mid wicket and long on. So I think I should be able to hit him square if he does ball some bad deliveries. <coughs> Flicked and hit straight. Oh no. Nope, he makes it. <laughs> there was no way human would have completed that run. That is that was run out. Tosses it up outside the off stump. Awesome fielding for once. <laughs> the last over of the power play. In five overs, I played six balls. How many times? It doesn't matter who I'm batting with. This just seems to keep happening. Is that going away for six? No, it does not. Yeah, this over, I just have to attack. Now it is slightly risky because mid on fielder is standing right on the 30 yard circle. Go mid wicket on the pads. Easily picked four. Yep, we need to do a lot more of this. Goes full. Some movement in the air as well, but it didn't matter. Only one run. Why only one? We timed it well enough. Well, we are off to another good start. As a team, not a that great of a start, but I have started pretty well. At least this time, let's just try to win it for for the team. We have had a, we have had a good series. Not a great series, but still not been that bad. Can we come back for two? Throw to the wrong end, and we'll make it comfortably in the end. Oh, man. Such a awful delivery, but the thing is, he has four fielders on the deep, on the leg side. So even if he bowls such a rubbish delivery, he's not going to get hit. Now the required run has climbed up to 9.3 and we have lost three wickets as well. On the offside, very slow. 120s, not even 130s, 129 Ks, 72 deliveries, 117 runs, totally in control. That is if you don't lose any more wickets, start losing wickets. Then it is over. Quick leading edge, but no one on the ring anywhere near there, so we'll get two runs for it. Again, he's just bowling on the pants this time. No one, a deep fine leg, but it would not have mattered. That ball sailed over the ropes for six. Easy as you like. Pace on the pads. Bad delivery deserved to be punished, and we did just that. 15 deliveries, 31 scoring, and a strike rate of more than 200. Come on, this time we need to keep going. He's bowling straight, very straight. Probably could have gone for the same shot. And I've probably gotten 4 or 6, but this is fine. That's nicely tossed up on the offside. This time he has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 fielders on the offside. No one on the leg side. And that is strange for a leg spinner bowling to a left-hander. Now... Again, slow left arm. Probably our best chance of smacking sixes. If he bowled straight, that is. Pour it on 8 of 12. We need to score at 10 runs and over to win this one. So we need support from the other end as well. A single. I don't really want to face spin now. I want to face fast bowlers. Try to hit them through the line. Hit them straight. Balls it flatter this time. Very fast. Very flat. Very quick through the air. Just skids on and it will be a don't ball. I actually want to sweep it, but he played a scoop. Which of course did not come off. Oh, this time slower, varying his pace very nicely, but we'll still get through for a single. Off the bat, off the pad, it does not matter. Short and wide. Oh, <laughs> why did I try to love that? And thankfully, it wasn't a catch. Did it not carry a what? Or did he drop it? Look at that for a shot. I mean, Dwayne Bravo plays shots like, shots like that. Yep, didn't carry there. But we're still very close. 
comes from around the wicket, full toss, that had to be hit away, that just was bad bowling, full toss, very toss up to a man with the power of Chris Gale that just had to be smacked, 22 of 40 deliveries we have had, a fair share of bad balls to put away, short and wide, a ah, little too early and I don't want to take a single, I want to have as much strike as possible, hopefully score a few boundaries but even if I don't, it doesn't matter, the required run rate is not that high. Short and wide, this time it goes in the gap, will it race away? Yes it does. A boundary 44 of 24 and a 50 partnership has been completed as well, poor on 28. He has played well after a slightly slow start and we haven't lost a wicket in quite a long time. Just have to keep going, now it's completely under control, 41 of 60, 66 of 41. And, uh, nope, only one there, no, this is not gonna be, yep, that fielder was very slow, and of course keepers are slow all that time. Short, nope, mm, not that short I guess, that ball just seemed like it was a normal good length delivery. Flicked, mm, I thought I found that gap. Nope, that fielder is very quick, comes across and there we go, I think that is run out. <laughs> of course I have to get someone run out. The video is not completed until I get myself or my partner run out. Full again, straight. Going for that quick yorker. And no, I think uh, yeah, that's enough of getting people run out for the day. Short hopes, that has gone straight up. Wait, was done off the bat? They are appealing, but the umpire is not interested. I thought it went straight off the bat, but nope. 62 of 35, once again the run rate has gone above 10. And we've lost another wicket as well, so now I just have to bat for the rest of the overs. Short, oh, under edge, but it still doesn't go away from the keeper. 49 of 31, my strike rate has come down as well, I have scored a lot of boundaries compared to usual but still the strike rate is not that great. Mm, man what is going on, 3 dot balls in a row. Inside edge and a brilliant catch there from the keeper, I have to go for 49, what an over 3 dot balls and then he gets me out. And actually we did win the match and ended up winning the series as well against India 3-2, very close series. If you want to see another West Indian legend in action, click the video on screen to see a man with face paint, the weirdest stance and still absolutely one of the best batters of all time in test cricket. For now, like, comment, subscribe and all that, it really means a lot. Thanks for watching and have a great day wherever you are.